Badhwani Foundation's Skill Development Initiative seeks to drive employability by transforming the way skill development is done. So first of all, my definition of skilling is not just about giving people the talent that they need to become employable, it's about actually making sure that they get employed. In other words, there has to be connectivity between the employer community and the skilling community Absolutely. because otherwise it's like clapping with one hand. Following our founder's mandate to focus on actual employment, we have adopted this focus in our strategy. India is adding a million people a month to the workforce. To adequately skill at such a scale, effective use of technology is necessary and skill training needs to be mainstreamed into school and higher education systems. It is this resolve that has us as partners of the Government of Haryana to program manage the National Skills Qualification Framework NSQF in 140 schools and over 10,000 students. It was formally launched in uh, September, 6 September 2012. Badwani Foundation has very strongly supported us wherever we wanted support. And uh, in uh, finally designing the implementation plan, designing the recruitment plan of teachers, designing the course materials, ensuring that course materials are on time, having repeated monitoring meetings with the heads of institution. Retail is one of the seven sectors in which students are trained. Classroom teaching is supplemented by laboratory practice, industry lectures, site visits, internships, etc. The students that we get from your particular school, they are doing very hard work. They are setting a new example. While the training they learned a lot that we do not have to spend one month of our time. So frankly speaking, they save 30 days of our training part. So that is an, a good experience. We realize that by ourselves we will not be able to do it and we really need a strong support from private sector. And that the success of the program also lies in designing a very innovative public-private partnership model where Vadwani Foundation has very strongly supported us wherever we wanted support. Narayana Health or NH is India's third largest group of hospitals with a total of 7,000 beds. We have uh, reached up to 27 uh, hospitals all across India and you know we always can't ensure that we will have the right level of trainers as well to quote one. So it came very handy you know because Vadwani Foundation you know uh, came in at a timing when it was right for us. So we had the subject matter expertise and Vadwani Foundation, I mean, they could bring in that technology into the uh, space so that we can actually marry them together and come out with something which is really, really sort of useful. We have collaborated with NH to build e-learning content for healthcare professionals like nursing assistants, etc. Students learn better from the interactive audio-visual learning content and video and then practicing with their peers so that they get confident to work with patients. A quick quiz at the end of each session helps students reinforce their learning. I advise all my colleagues and all practitioners to go through e medials and it is really, really useful. I'm also confident in taking care about my patient. The test and the post test which we conduct, when, we, when you see the result and it's you know, the drastic improvement we could see, Vani Foundation has done a great job in creating these uh, teaching modules and uh, I am sure in the years to come these teaching tools will be available to every nurse of this country and the world. Started in 1962, MS Ramaya Hospital and Nursing College is one of the oldest institutions in Bangalore with 650 beds and 400 students. They have embraced these e-learning modules to enhance their nursing education and internal training. Uh, the visual quality gives us more, uh, more time to learn and recall it again because it's videos like watching movies, we get to know the stories. It will enable the nursing educational institutions to bring a 
better trained uh, skilled population of nurses who are job ready who could be immediately placed in hospital and who could perform their work working with the school authorities and the ministry of human resource development we have integrated these job driven courses into nsqf school programs in haryana to train students there मैम ये बाकी क्लासेस है इसलिए अलग है क्योंकि इसके अंदर वीडियोस भी दिखाई जाती हैं ई लर्निंग सिखाई जाती हैं और टीचर और स्टूडेंट के बीच इंटरेक्शन बहुत अच्छा होता है और जो जो चीज़ें हमें मैम से ठीक तरह से क्लियर नहीं हो पाती वो हम वीडियो देख के अच्छे से क्लियर कर लेते हैं और इसलिए ये बाकी क्लासेस अलग दूसरी क्लासेस में जैसे बच्चों के सिर्फ लेक्चर होते हैं यहाँ पर हम वीडियोज़ दिखाते हैं ई लर्निंग दिखाते हैं एक्टिविटीज़ होती हैं रोल प्लेज होते हैं चार्ट मेकिंग होती है जिससे बच्चा हमेशा एक्टिव रहता है और ई लर्निंग के थ्रू हम चीज़ों को ज़्यादा अच्छी तरह बेटर वे में एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं जूरी ग्रुप ऑफ होटल्स एंड रिजोर्ट्स इज अ लीडिंग इंटरनेशनल लक्जरी चेन हेडक्वार्टर्ड इन बेंगलोर वी आर कोलेबोरेटिंग टू इम्पार्ट स्किल एंट्री लेवल पोजिशन the biggest challenge is content they don't have content if they want to train they will hire a training manager but where is the content to train the learning abilities and skills of various levels of staff is different students learn using highly interactive e-learning modules coupled with instructional video and group activities i was quite excited the students who are just you know uh, coming out of the schools or colleges to learn the basics and it would be easy for us to you know groom them to our requirement wadwani's vision is about putting together this kind of a curriculum with which is you know online with a certification attached to it in, in the mainstream education with a vision that that this will be provided i i just looked at it and i said you know bang on Our web portal allows any time anywhere access to the lessons. For the patient care module, we have courses that will help candidate to do his or her job. The course covers medical procedures, spoken English skills, life skills, basic IT skills and medical mathematics. The content transforms the way the student learns with videos. interactive games assessments etc as part of our development process we pilot our e-learning lessons at local government schools to validate the content and format with our target audience we have been running our general work readiness skills like english life skills and it as well students enthusiastically have signed up to attend these courses even though these are offered after school hours it's very interesting it, it has videos games activities it's very fun the pre and post training test of skills in the pilot programs are encouraging indicators what we were able to learn from testing our modules with the students both in the 9th standard and in the 11th standard was that We were moving a bit too fast, and so we learned that we needed to slow down our modules. Examples of changes that we were able to make to our modules to make sure that they were more user friendly and that our core demographic, uh, secondary school students, were able to understand and then act upon what we were asking them to do. The entire population is all young. and not all of them are going to land themselves up in engineering jobs or a plumb banker's job they there's got to be a large task force that needs to do something and and hospitality is got a tremendous opportunity because it's growing we are in the industry we know exactly what we expect out of the talent that's coming in we as zuri would love to you know partner or probably pitch in and join in only way of expanding skill training is using mainstream education for that because that's one educational hub which is widely available across, across the, the state and it should not only remain up to school level even in college level 99% of the time 
patient is in the hands of nurses. So by training outstanding skilled nurses, we are going to make healthcare safer for everyone.